Welcome back and in this video we're gonna finish up with the finishing touches. So I want to show you a few cool things. Um, this is the social media pop-ups and if you go here and you can go here to um, uh, social, there it is, then here you can see a lot of social apps and plugins you can use uh, including Facebook comments. I'm gonna cover that in another video but you can scroll down all the way but one that's really nice is this one and you can see we use this one right here um, so i'm not gonna copy it i mean i could but i'm just gonna delete it that's how easy it goes um, if i go here right click and i say edit i can change the size and do it the way i want i can change the spacing how much space is in between the pop-ups and I can make it either horizontal or vertical. So that's pretty cool. And we can even do it vertical because that might look pretty nice. Uh, I think I like the horizontal more actually. Yeah, I like the horizontal more. So I clicked it away by clicking here and that's why we're back here. So I go here and I say image. So here I can select what I want to do. If I want to get rid of this, because for example, I don't have Google Plus, I press OK. I don't have a Pinterest, I click here, OK. And the Instagram, perhaps we have different icons. I'm not sure because normally I upload them myself. Icon collection, over here we can say Instagram. Let's see if we find something. No, we don't. So let's scroll through the image collection, icon collection, social network. Okay, there we have a tablet. So for sure we're gonna find, yeah, look, that looks a lot nicer. So confirm, I wanna add that one in there, get rid of this one. And now I have to see how they're gonna fit. Yeah, so this is a bit too small, so I have to find the right one or upload my own, which we can do as well, of course. But let's say we're going to keep it this way. So Facebook. Facebook, here the link. Facebook.com slash the vegan entrepreneur. Because that's, I don't have a Twitter either. So I mostly do these three. And YouTube, I would go the vegan entrepreneur.tv now why do i have a .tv link and not just a youtube link well basically if you walk on the street or if you meet somebody in the park or whatever it's really really hard i mean when your youtube channel doesn't have thousands of subscribers it doesn't index as good as when it does so it's easier for people to say hey go to the vegan entrepreneur.tv and you'll find my vlogging channel you'll find my uh whatever so the same reason why I don't tell people to go to uh, randyherman.omb10.com slash builderallyou, but you point them directly to say go build to builderallyou.com, it's way easier. And for that reason, um, I registered this. Plus, when I have to do things like this, it's going to be super easy for me to remember. Now, Instagram is easy. Facebook is easy. So... Maybe we're gonna still change this because like I say, we're gonna put some finishing touches on it. And I think when we do that, we have to make it as nice as possible. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. What do we have here? Maybe we have a nicer one because they're a bit small. Hopefully this one is a bit bigger. Yeah, this one's bigger. It looks bigger. So let's at least use this one and say here, Instagram, I have to select this first. Instagram, Instagram, and Instagram is like Facebook. It's really easy, uh, preneur.co. Confirm. So let's just leave it, move this one over here, voila. Okay, so that's done, that's done, the pictures. How do you change the pictures? Just right click, edit, uh, change the pictures, 
change how many you have per row, change the height, change the change the things here. You can then change the images itself. You can change the location. You can drag them around. You can say, I want to have this one over there, this one over there. Then the other white one is not there. So I'm going to put this one over here. Oh, well, let's just put it here. It <laughs> doesn't really matter anyway. So confirm. So as you can see, they are reorganized to our likings. Here, this is just text. So, you know, you can add it, change it, do whatever. Change the text here, change the offer, link the buy now buttons. Well, where do we want them to go? Uh, want to go them to a checkout page or not? Um, it depends the service that we're selling. However, this is going to be too complicated for the first module. We're going to go and create checkout pages and all, do all these type of things in a later video for a different uh, sales page. Um, what else can we do? Well, here we can edit the exact same thing like we did uh, over here. And what I can do still is show you how to make a pop-up because that can be fun as well so go to pop-up we have a pop-up default i don't know what that is so we're going to take the pop-up default and edit it a little bit oh, confirm pop -up default why can't we edit it that's awkward so let's add another pop-up that's new to me as well so that's nice. It will save us a lot of time. So we can say subscribe to our newsletter. Um, new test. Okay. Let's see how that's going. And then, ah, okay, yes, sorry. So to take this one out, pop up default, we're gonna delete this one to avoid confusion. Now, when we click on this, it pops up here and now we can edit it we can go here and we can say right click appearance and now we can edit it so now we can say we want to have a different pop-up click on the edit image and say okay well we want to have round borders 25 25 25 this one should also change to 25 and now suddenly our pop-up is uh, round which is already looking a lot nicer over here, there's a text. We want to give it a different color. We want to make it bold. And this looks quite nice already. So now we've got the pop-up. Good, we're gonna go back to the pop-ups, shut it off. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go on this one and we say action, pop-up, new test okay go to preview and as you can see the pop-up is working now of course we can change the settings we can do everything uh, this is uh, similar to what we did over here so final thing final touch um, how to edit this and take this out it's not that hard we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to our email marketing automation. And then we're gonna go to our list. So subscribers list. Then, I don't know, for some reason it didn't charge really well. We just refresh it. We click on that one. And I'm in the wrong place. So I'm just gonna go back. Oh, got to do this. So I'm going to go here and then custom fields. So here we've got this text. We're going to take this out, save change. And now it should be good. So it's not going to change like this because we have to save it first, I think, or go there recharge it at least yeah so what we probably have to do is 
go back either we have to close it down or we just have to go to a different page and back to our home page it's still there so I'm just gonna do it differently we're gonna delete it email marketing this might be the solution and that's the thing that's also what I want to show you with this is that just because it doesn't work one way you just have to try to find different ways around it it's software it's tools they always have these little tricks that will help you out uh, I don't like this form so I'm gonna go appearance that I like more so I'm gonna take it there sign up to our newsletter hop make sure the URLs are pointed in the right direction yes they are confirm okay and as you can see there's nothing in between they're really clean right now so we're gonna save it and this was the first module so thank you very much for watching I hope you guys can get started with the basics now in the upcoming modules we're gonna cover how to build the blog how the responsive builder works how the design studio works how the apps work and how you can use the apps and integrate the apps inside of your software um, and how to finalize and fine-tune uh, the details and what I mean by that is when we go here and we go check click on the site right now this title is not correct yet right now the logo over here is not our own logo right now we don't have a Facebook pixel registered to our site and I will explain you everything about Facebook pixel later on um, we also don't have Google Analytics tracking the data on seeing who is coming to our website who is doing what uh, which countries are there from what times are they arriving on our website so we know when to post new articles we know when to post new anything uh, when to advertise when your target group is most active so this is a lot of valuable information but that's a little bit technical for now so first off in this module I challenge you go out play with the pre-done templates and figure out how the designer works how the HTML5 designer uh, studio works and what you can do with it and uh, you know get a feeling for it you're not gonna learn it by just watching these videos you're gonna learn it by watching these videos go out there and try 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 if you run into a problem just figure out different types of solutions I always say when I'm coaching people I always say it's not about the problem it's about the ability of asking the right questions in order for you to find the right answers if you ask the right questions you will always find the right answers let's click on this and we get our nice pop-up and I am going to finish with that thank you very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the first module uh, if you watch the first module uh, make sure you go into the Facebook group and uh, comment give me some feedback we are going to constantly improve these modules it's an organically growing course um, if you joined in early you got a really good deal later on the price will go up every single month so um, the value will just get bigger and bigger and bigger build roll 101 is designed for you to get the best out of build roll and learn it in the first six seven days so you know what to do you know how it works you know how to get your feet wet and then later on we're going to offer more courses more tutorials we're going to give strategy inside of the group so let me know what you guys think thank you for watching and i see you in the next module